hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Dejko blessing if you're coming across my video for the first time and yeah if you're a returning subscriber you are the best thank you for always coming back to watch my video thank you so much so in today's video we're going to do an intense um, ventilation class I know that a lot of you guys have paid for ventilation class and it's being done online so there's no difference between what I want to do today and what you've paid for but the difference between that one and this one is that you're not paying anything the only thing you need to do for me is subscribe because I'm not going to do them in a video because there's no way I can teach you guys everything in this one video so guys just subscribe Turn on the notification bell and like, share. That's the only thing you need to do. You don't need to pay. You don't need to do anything. So, guys, in today's video, we're going to learn um, ventilation. And I'm going to teach you guys um, a couple of things. Like, not really. Um, like, I'm going to teach everything. Like, everything that you need to know before you can start this ventilation like after this class you can actually start ventilation as a business so guys um the course outline is ventilation um equipment lace sizes lace positioning different knot techniques um different ventilation patterns how to draft out um a four by four five by five six by six um natural hairline sketch like a kind of a sketch that will guide you when you are ventilating something like this yeah something like this this sketch right here like something that can help you um you know this is a four by four as you can see i wrote it here four by four closure so this is like a sketch that i did with this a4 paper that's going to help me know where i'm starting like both the curve and everything if you have seen a closure net before in the market this is how they call it but the reason why I'm drafting out this is because I have my own lace I have my own lace that I cut out from this the lace so that's why I'm using this paper to draft out this so I'm going to teach you this both in the frontal part both in the um, 5 by 5 part 6 by 6 this one is 4 by 4 so that is what I mean by um, how to draft out a sketch and it will carry the hairline. You don't need to like start, um, you know. And again, you know that a lot of people don't know how to cut out front towels. So once you have draft out this, like if you if you learn how to draft out this, you can easily cut out your front towel when you have your lace. So guys, that's it for this one. And a kind of a promo, I'm going to. Um, teach you guys how i'm going to teach you how to treat it to be straight and silky like a human hair i'm going to teach you how to make a body wave with this um kind of colon hair so that's what we're going to do for this whole ventilating class so guys let's dive into today's um topic so for today's topic we're going to do the ventilation equipment that's the only thing we're going to do in this video so that it will not be too long so coming over to um ventilation you need to know what ventilation is so ventilation is um the method of affixing strands of hairs into a lace net do you get affixing affixing is you know putting in strands pieces of hairs is that piece one pieces two pieces three pieces yeah but in ventilation once it have passed like five you're no longer ventilating your crocheting or your crochet. I don't know how they used to say it, but that's it. So from one strand to four strands is ventilation. But from five strands and above is crocheting, you get. So now, coming over to the... Um, sorry that I'm looking down. This is my notes. Coming over to the um, ventilation equipment, the first thing on my list is head you're going to use 
for the ventilation so guys we have um, different heads we have the canvas head which is this one this one right here yeah this one right here the canvas head we have the bar head i don't know maybe i'll put it somewhere here so you see what i mean by the bar head then we have this head that is like um you know this um foamy stuff white stuff they used to put under the fridge you you know what time this is to package something is something like foamy and it's white we have a head like that too but you know i don't like it at all but this one and the bar head is the main thing but the bar head is for starters so if you're starting now you need the bar head you don't need this because this is actually expensive so guys as i was saying this one is too expensive like for a starter so it's better you buy that um bad head that one is around um 4k now but this one is around ten thousand now so you see so if you're not if you're not, if you're not yet making money out of ventilation you don't need this bad, um, this um, canvas head i mean so um that's it for the head then we need um, the ventilating needle, the ventilating pin. We need the ventilating pin. So here is the ventilating pin I'm using. This one is um, the metal ventilating pin. And it's a one to two um, size. This one comes with four sizes of pin. It comes with one to one, one to two, one, um, two to three, and three to four. That's where it stopped. That's why I said once ventilation are past four strands my dear you're not ventilating you are crocheting so <laughs> we also have um the uh, what's it called the wooden ventilating needle that wooden ventilating needle does not come with four pins but if you're buying the stick like this like i mean this one now if you buy the stick you also buy the four needles like it comes with four different needles but that wooden one comes with just like this and the needle but it also has the same sizes but if you're buying this size of this needle you're buying a wooden um stick like this with it that's what i mean so that's it for uh so there's also um a crochet um pin for ventilation people use um this tiny like very tiny crochet pin for ventilation so i would advise if you're starting you can use it maybe i will show you guys in this video um in in my my next videos when i'm teaching how to ventilate i might just use the needle and use the crochet pin so you see how it's done if you don't have money for this needle now you can just buy a 200 naira crochet pin 300 and use it so the most important thing is that you're learning like when i started learning mine i stay using the crochet pin not the ventilating pin but there are still people that start using the ventilating pin and they will get what they want so that's it and um the next thing on my list is the net this is the swiss lace this one that's it and it has different um shade this one is the transparent one they have the um peach a bit peach something like peach that color that one is um i think is the white that uses it more is the white that it fits more but this transparent fits um or more so the transparent um that peach the um the brown like the light brown and the dark brown that's the color we have in this lace then the next thing on my list is um your scissors that one is very normal your scissors your pin like the pin you use and hold it in place just like this so um for my ventilation i use the office pins or holding it down but for sewing down um, my wigs to the black cap like sewing it down to the black cap i use um either t pin this pin here 
this is the T pin. Either T pin or there's other pin that has something like balls on the head. I don't know what it's called, but that other pin too. So that's basically what you need to start up your ventilation. Like that's basically what you need. You don't need um you don't need the stand to start up this ventilation because stand is also expensive so you just keep it on your leg or on the table and then you ventilate you get and then you get it but when you become a professional when you start doing it um for a business that's what i mean by professional then you can you can get the stand you can even get sewing machine you can get straightener you can get uh, but the straightener is important but for now no so that's it for the equipment so guys um thank you guys for watching please subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload another video because i'm going to do this class like i mean it i'm going to do this class to the end so please don't miss out in my class just um subscribe so that you always be notified when i post the next um video the next video for this particular topic so the next time we are going to be here we'll be talking about um the lace sizes and the lace positioning uh maybe we'll talk about the lace sizes and the lace positioning in the next video then another video we'll talk about the different knots techniques and different ventilation pattern and i just give you guys like five videos for this ventilating class so this one is the part one so just subscribe and wait for my next video.